go. Hi, this is Mark from Nitro Gear and Axle. Here today to kind of talk about some of the nine inch uh, differential dropout options that we have available and that Ford has built over the years. Uh, to start with, we've got the standard nine inch that Ford built for, oh, I don't know, 25, 30, 35 years. This is a typical gray iron model. This is the non-performance version that Ford made. Uh, it uses a uh, pinion support, like all Ford nine inches do, uh, but not really built for a lot of power. Uh, they use uh, smaller bearings than the aftermarket ones, and these assemblies themselves are not real high-grade steel. Um, Ford did build versions of this out of a nodular material. Uh, if you're ever junkyard hunting, you can look for those. They'll have a big N cast in there for nodular. Uh, the ribbing and so forth does give you some indication that it could be a nodular, but it isn't, isn't always the case. Some of these are uh, just gray iron with the ribs as well. Typically a unit like this, 300, 350 horsepower is probably about the limit uh, before you start getting a little concerned about its longevity. Uh, good units, but again, passenger car style housing and dropout. Stepping up from that, it's a uh, aftermarket nodular. This is our nitro nodular housing, nitro pinion, Daytona pinion support. And what that means with the Daytona pinion support is that unlike the, the factory unit with the smaller bearings in here, these use larger bearings, uh, a different style yoke, and uh, typically have improved oiling as well. Um, the bigger bearings help improve rigidity of the pinion itself, which improves pinion to ring gear contact, thereby increasing strength. The nodular iron is an alloy made with uh, magnesium and iron uh, that um, presents a, a stronger combination. These are less likely to crack, they'll take a lot more power. Um, cost effective in a sense. These are great in cars, street cars, um, six, seven, eight hundred horsepower is not unreasonable. Turning it around, this style one, uh, high grade bolts, but still bolts, uh, does have the extra pinion support bearing, which is one of the hallmarks of the nine inch differential. So in this particular case, uh, we probably should have gotten one out here, but the, the pinion has three bearings on it. The two main pinion bearings, which ride inside this pinion support, and then a third bearing, which is forward of it, which helps greatly with the deflection or lack thereof between the ring gear and the pinion. Um, these units are great, they're really strong. Drawback is they're pretty heavy. Um, so you definitely notice when you're trying to load one in. Stepping up from that is our alloy unit that we do. These are 6061 T6 billet on the front half using 7075 uh, caps. Again, both billets. These use uh, high-grade ARP studs to hold the caps in place, as well as high-grade studs on the, the front with a 10-bolt pinion support. The bearings are even larger on these than a standard 9-inch. And weight-wise, these are about 25% about lighter than a typical modular. Uh, these also feature a load bolt, which is on here, would go right in here. And the purpose of that, I'll show you on this completed one, The load bolt presses on the back of the ring gear in alignment with the pinion so that under extreme power conditions, extreme torque, this gear is supported by the outside of the housing. That load bolt actually rests against this under heavy load. Uh, the result is better pinion to ring gear contact, again increased strength and uh, much better power handling capability. Well, this one, this also is using our 3.7 gear. Uh, with one of our nitro torsions and a uh, 1350 billet yoke. Um, we highly recommend a solid pinion spacer when we build any of these nine inches and we do that on this one as well. Uh, that uh, definitely holds up better in high horsepower, high torque situations where crushed sleeves uh, can easily get pounded out losing bearing preload on the pinion bearings. Given a choice, this is your best bet. It's lighter, it's stronger, looks better. Uh, but if 
full-on billet aluminum is a little too pricey. A nodular iron unit is awesome for the street uh, or even mild dry cars. Um, we can build these in 28, 31, or 35 spline, depending on what you need. And uh, please let us know if you have any further questions on nine-inch axles. You can get a hold of us at 888. That's the wrong phone number. <laughs> Sorry.